Melanin has the capacity to absorb all forms of energy and frequency, light, sound, tone, and color, transmute them, transmogrify them, and then re-emit them as another form of energy. And the more melanated someone is, the more appropriate they are at doing it. And appropriate means one's own. So, when you look out at the world and you see the condition that it is in, and right now it really is a big mess. It's in a very big mess because the most melanated people in the world are in a mess. Because melanated people, because they are superconductors, have the power to take energy and create or destroy something. So everything that's going on in the world today is going on because melanated people project it out. Europeans, they have the ability to trick and deceive and use what is called violence. The word violence means, if you look it up, it means this distortion of fact. If you look it up in the dictionary, the word violence means distortion of facts. My people suffer for lack of knowledge. We perish for lack of knowledge because we're nice. I'm glad you caught that. <laughs> Back to Michael Jackson. And remember, he was a very, turn to the word bad. Michael Jackson has a song out called Bad. Is that accurate? Yes. And before the song Bad, Michael Jackson was a more masculine. Is that accurate? Yes. Michael did not know that by doing concerts and repeating the song Bad at a show or on stage and repeating it over and over again, being melanated, caused the spell that made Michael what he is today. When you look up the word bad and you get into the brackets, and how many of you have sons or know people that have sons that say, man, that's a bad little boy. Do not ever call any little melanated boy bad. The word bad means effeminate and hermaphroditic. Get in the brackets. The word bad means a hermaphrodite or womanish man. Is that what you see in the dictionary? Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you see how Michael has caused himself being melanated? And when you are melanated, what is it that the, the scriptures say? Ask, and you shall receive. You speak it out, and you make it reality because you spoke it into existence. Because I'm going to insult some people. We're going to research the word Jesus. Now, in, 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 in Latin, who knows that there really is no such thing as J except in new language? J is the newest letter under the sun. In ancient times, there could have been no one walking named Jesus because there was no such thing as J in the ancient times. So, we're going to try to correct that part with even that little simple piece. So if there was no one walking around called Jesus in ancient times, then who are you, you guys calling on? Yeah. Who are you praying to? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Now, there's a problem with that. In Spanish, how do you say this? Yeah. Hey, Zeus. Look up Zeus and get into the brackets, if your dictionary has them, which is Z-E-U-S. Now, get ready to mess you guys up a little bit if you're Christian. A Yahshua. So, not the case. I'm not going to get really deep into that. I'm going to leave that as your assignment to find out. The word Yahshua means I am salvation. But turn to D E U S. And when you get to D E U S, in the brackets, it should say Zeus. Look at the word just a. Just below it, D-E-U-C-E. -E. When you get in the brackets, it'll say D-E-U-S, but D-E-U-C-E -E means devil. But Zeus and Zeus are the same word, and D-E-U-S D -E and Z-E-U-S are one and the same word. But D-E-U-S and D-E-U-C-E -E are also one in the same word. 
deuce. This one means devil, D E U S, when you read it. Not the bracket, but the definition itself. There are two definitions. D E U C E means damned and confounded. So my people have been damned and confounded by the devil they call Jesus, which is Zeus. Zeus. Who, else, who needs to see that? Children. It's in there. Okay, so what does Zeus mean, D E U C E? It also means damned and confused or damned and confounded. And D E U C E, if you get in the brackets, does it somewhere in there say D E U S in the brackets? Yeah. 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 And when you get into D-E-U-S, doesn't it in the bracket somewhere say Zeus, Z-E-U-S? Z -E -U -S? Right. In mine it does. Now, look at it this way. You don't hear anything in the so-called Bible about Jesus until you get to the New Testament. Right. The New Testament is by who? Greek. The Greek. Mm -hmm. Who is the supreme God of the Greeks? Zeus. 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 And if you look in the dictionary under Zeus, it will tell you the supreme God of the Greeks. What's up, everybody? I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But I need you to do something. After you watch the video and you gain something from the content you appreciate the content or whatever the case may be i need you to hit that like button if you're not currently following me i need you to follow me so that i can keep you up uh, uh, up to date with all of the information that's out there for you that i deem to be important and hopefully most of that information is un unique to you so you can really be edified by it. Once you find a video that you like, smash that like button. Subscribe, follow, and share the video content that you feel that your family and friends would benefit from. Again, thank you very much for following me. Thanks for watching my videos. And please, continue to do so.